Welcome to EE Know How. In this video, we will look at resistors in series and what the equivalent resistance is. So now, if you look at a resistor in a circuit, so either you have a DC voltage or an AC voltage source here, then you got a resistor. So resistance is R and then the circuit is closed. This is the ground. So a current flows through this circuit and where I is V over R if V is a DC voltage source or I of T is V of T over R if it is an AC voltage. So now let's consider resistors in series. So now in this circuit we have instead of one resistor R we have two resistors R1 and R2. I just put a DC source for this example. So there is a current I that is established in this circuit. And now if you look at the voltage drop, now this is the voltage, the total voltage V, which drops across the two resistors. So you have a voltage drop here across the first resistor and you have a voltage drop across the second resistor. So VR1, which is the voltage dropped across resistor 1, is the current I. I is the same current that flows through both the resistors multiplied by R1. And then VR2 that is dropped across the resistor R2 is I multiplied by R2. Now if you apply KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law, for this loop we get the total voltage V is dropped across the two resistors. V is VR1 plus VR2. Now V wrote, so V is I times R1 plus I times R2. Now if you take I as common here this is R1 plus R2. Now this is the total voltage V. Now the resistance is voltage over current. So now to find R equivalent for this series, series resistances, you divide voltage by the current which is V over I that would be from this equation here it would be R1 plus R2 so we know for the series connection R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 So what we found is the same current flows through both R1 and R2 but different voltages are dropped across R1 and R2. So now for example so you have R1 is 4 kilo ohms and R2 is 6 kilo ohms. So now V, assume V is 1 volt. So the current, total current flowing through the circuit is 1 volt divided by 4k plus 6k that is 1 volt or a thousand millivolts 
divided by 10,000 ohms. So the current is 0 0.1 milliamps. The current flowing through this is 0 0.1 milliamps. Now if you look at the voltage dropped across R1, VR1 would be 0 0.1 milliamps multiplied by 4 kilo ohms which would be 0 0.4 volts or 400 millivolts. So VR2 would be 600 millivolts.